In this video, I've got a quick tip for you on how you can use an Apple feature called Universal Clipboard to work between your iPad and your desktop, whether that's a laptop or an iMac. And here I have my iPad open and I'm working in Adobe Fresco. And then I've also got my laptop where I'm working in Adobe Illustrator. And you can copy from one device to the other using the Universal Clipboard. You can find the requirements for using the Universal Clipboard on Apple's website, but basically it just requires that each device be signed into iCloud with the same Apple ID and that Bluetooth is turned on, Wi-Fi is turned on, and handoff is turned on. So you can find these instructions on Apple's website. All right, so on, in Fresco, I have a brush selected here and on just one layer, I'm gonna do a little painting. This is one of the cool new summer 2020 brushes called Jungle Jam. So now I'm selecting that layer and I'm gonna copy that layer. That just copies the layer to my clipboard. And then when I go over to Illustrator on my MacBook Pro and press Command V to paste, you can see I'm pasting that image into my file here. And what I have is a TIFF file. It's got a strange auto-generated name. It's at 72 DPI and it is transparent. And it's also embedded. So if I wanted to unembed it and make it linked, I could click on this button here. Now, this is not like a bitmap TIFF where I can go ahead and just change the color of this. It doesn't work that way. If I wanted to change the color of this texture, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this texture here and then go back over to Fresco and on this layer, let me lock the transparency and then I'm gonna just choose a really big basic brush. That's 3,500 pixels. And then let me go ahead and pick a color here. Like that. And now with the transparency locked in just one click, I can color the whole texture. And then same thing again, I'm just gonna go back to the menu and copy the layer and then over in Illustrator, paste the layer. Takes a second and click OK, and there it is. And then I can add transparency, choose a blending mode, and that sort of thing. So it's an amazing feature for Mac users working between their iPad and the desktop and working between Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Fresco. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Illustrator tutorials. And thanks for watching.